please welcome our next presenters, Michelle Lee and Brittany B. If you've attended the award show for the past few years, you've heard us say that Christian rap music has been on the rise and is more popular than ever. A recent 2019 study once again proves that Christian hip hop has never been more robust or vibrant than right now. It's reaching growing audiences and diversifying its message. It's getting played all over the place, from the gym to WWE. One of the biggest proofs of the strength of Christian hip hop is its impact on secular rap. This is ironic because people keep worrying that Christian hip hop stars are gonna be influenced by worldly stars if they cross over into the secular market. But they don't see that Christian hip hop is exerting its own gravity that pulls on mainstream mic kickers. Once upon a time, secular rap artists and fans rolled their eyes at Christian hip hop, which they loathed like an embarrassing kid brother. But now such collaborations prove that secular artists have moved light years beyond the eye roll. They are more than giving the nod to Christian hip hop. Now, game respects game. Christian rap artists like our nominees today more than ever are stepping up their game. They're elevating their messages to a whole new level. Their lines show poetic prowess. There's irony, paradox, oxymoron, and other figurative languages to admire. They're teaching theology much in the same way that the old hymns taught doctrine. And lives are being saved, changed, and delivered by the messages these artists are bringing. So, for those of you in this category, your time is now. We need you now more than ever to continue to shine your light and to continue to unapologetically share the gospel of Jesus through your music and message. You might think that you're not being heard, but I promise you, you're coming in loud and clear and we're all listening. So if you could focus your attention on the main screen, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the nominees for Female Rap Artist of the Year. <laughs> Changes won't pay homage to who changed us. We've been in the trash. Wait, how we went in the last place? That's a drag race. Them bad days and that ass trade. And that bag stayed with my dad. But Jesus covered me, not because of me. And it wasn't me. Loving him first, I was his enemy. I go in the church till I begin to see his word at work. And my life paid the price. That's my bro, Jesus Christ. I'm alright. God on my right. Right, love and mind. So say what you wanna to it. No weapon against me shall prosper. Chop it up, call her here, fix the doctor. I don't trust no one. We all got a problem. We give it up to him, he'll solve them. Send the love everywhere that we go. The world hates us. I ain't trying to step on no toes. I got a good news that could change your life. I was a real rebel. No. Salvation got me. If it wasn't for the father, I really don't know where I'd be. Wow. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. Shout out to PT. So I'm about to wake the lion. In, increase the grind, increase the time Bend over backwards a little more You want my time, you be a refined I won't resign my sovereignty I'm a decline, you when you try to cheat Don't rush my process, trust me Bless my name and trust me Better than the average, take no for a while Take no choice, you can fall, you can't deny You're not seeking why you can't find I'm believing why you're lying, man You can be saved by grace and dying And the winner is Patrice Edwards! Oh gosh, I am excited. It is a privilege, it is an honor. Um, words cannot express the excitement that I feel um, for this award, winning this award in the category of Female Hip Hop Christian Gospel Artist of the Year. I wanna say thank you so much to the Kendra Award for um, creating this opportunity for so many talents to come to the table um, and not compete against each other but complement each other. I've had the opportunity of learning about a, a whole lot of uh, female rappers that I had never heard of before checking you guys out and I must say you guys are amazing. Um, I look forward to one day working with you guys. I want to say thank you so much for being an enhancement into the kingdom. Um, and like I said, I look forward to working with a couple of you um, in the near future. Um, I'm going to thank a couple of people and I'm going to get out of your way. The first person I have to thank is I have to thank my Lord and Savior. I have to thank Yeshua. I have to thank 
uh, Yahweh. I have to thank my God who has been more to me than anything, anyone. He has gifted me with the gift of creativity and for that, I don't take it for granted. I don't abuse it. I don't misuse it. And I pray that he would continue to elevate me in that area of touching people's lives through the gift of rap music, period. Um, secondly, I want to thank my parents um, for always having my back. I want to thank you guys for um, embracing my musical abilities as a child. My mother for putting me into piano lessons and my father for uh, putting me on programs to sing for uh, banquets and things like that. You know, uh, my mom for putting me, planting me in church and, you know, putting me on the choir and, and just, you know, um, embracing and encouraging me to not be shy and move forward. I thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I have to thank my children for selfish, for selflessly and selfishly, in a sense, sharing their mother um, for all the times that you guys have been my biggest cheerleaders and um, my listening squad, <laughs> listening to my music and letting me know what's hip but letting me know what's not. I thank you so much. You guys are amazing. This award is for you. I have to thank my producer, James Clark, um, for believing in me, for speaking that Patrice, not only would you be the greatest hip hop Christian artist, um, but you're going to be the best. And so I thank you for the early mornings, the sleepless nights, the floods of music coming through my email, um, the fussing, the fighting, <laughs> the arguing. Um, I want to say thank you so much for pushing me past what. Um, for, for pushing me past um, being just mediocre. Um, the lessons, the love, I wanna say thank you so much. There are a lot of people that I could thank, but I would just say this, if you've had a hand in um, meeting me and imparting in me in any kind of way, spiritually, physically, financially, I wanna thank everybody who voted. You guys don't know how much that means to me to know that I have people in my corner who believe in me enough to say, Patrice, you are a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner. As a matter of fact, you've already won. Um, to my DC family, to my New Carolina family, Wanda Five, um, I just want to say thank you guys for believing that I was hard, even when I thought that I was not even that good. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. To my brothers back home, Pastor uh, Thomas, um, Pastor D, um, I want to say thank you guys so much who believed in me. Um, and even if you didn't, you thought I was crazy, if you thought I was silly, keep on looking, the best is yet to come. This is for everybody. Um, to all of those families who lost family members, loved ones through this pandemic, we're praying for you guys. And we're hoping that, um, well, no, we're not hoping. We know that we serve a God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. I love you guys. The best is yet to come. And again, continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you. Bye.